Hi, I'm Jody Kisser with Potter USA. Today my video is going to be all about the pattern plates. This is a 2 inch by 7 inch. It's actually made for the bracelet so it's a little bit more of a challenge to use than the 2 by 2s. So what I'm going to do today is show you how I use this in the hydraulic press. So this is a pattern plate I'm going to show you at this time. I've already annealed my copper. This is 20 gauge copper. So I'm just going to tape it at the end so it won't move around while I'm putting it through the press. Okay, these are the extended platens I'm going to use. I'm just going to set it right on there. So you've got your platens, your pattern plate, your nail copper. I slightly tape the edge. Now I'm going to put on my urethane. This is sold by Kevin Potter at Potter USA. It's a 95 durometer. It's a 2x7 that fits just right on the top. So I'm going to move this out about an inch and a half. This is my spacer, which I'm just going to sit right on top. And you want to make sure that's centered inside the window. And each time I bring the press down, I'm going to push my whole piece forward, but I'm going to bring back my little spacer so it's directly below this knob. I'm just going to continually push the whole piece forward as I bring back my spacer. Again, you want it centered in this area under the knob. Let's see how this looks. Take off my urethane. So that's a beautiful impression. So now I'm going to show you how to make a bracelet with this pattern. Okay, this is my pattern plate. Now I want to make it into a bracelet. So I want this side up. You know, you do have a choice if you want to oxidize this side and have it top side up or this side. I'm going to choose this side. So I'm going to stick it in Potter USA's bracelet bender and tighten that up. Okay, now I'm just going to bend it with my fingers. And now I'm going to oxidize it and clean the excess oxidation off and buff it with a super fine buffing block. Okay, this particular pattern plate is one of my favorite. What I'm going to do with this one here is, uh, you see I cut a fine strip of sterling silver. I'm going to put this in the hydraulic press with a little thicker uh, urethane. That's what we sold in the very beginning with these pattern plates. So I just want to show you that that does work and it works beautifully. So let's get started. Okay, so this is a four by seven that we originally sold. So I'm going to stick that right on top, turn on my press. I'm going to put the little spacer in there to give it some height there. I'm going to bring this out again about an inch and a half from the center. This is my focal point. It's my knob, but my focal point. So I want everything centered underneath that. Okay, as you can see, it did a very nice indentation. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cold connect it to a, a wider bracelet and show you the results. Okay, this is a bracelet that I made with the uh, pattern plate, the horizontal pattern plate. And this one I made with a diagonal plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cold connect this piece onto this piece. So this is my finished piece and I thank you very much for watching my video today.